This group delivers a call on Jesus, collection of rock solid messages of the word of God in captivating lyrics and smooth harmonic melodies. No chains having served a combined 107 years in the United States Armed Forces has experienced firsthand the struggle, hardships, and sorrows that enslaved people worldwide and strongly believe that these seemingly unbreakable strongholds can only be shattered through the acceptance of and the wholehearted trust in Jesus Christ. No Chains delivers this fundamental message in their debut project with a blend of soulful, rhythmic melodies heard in the title track, Call on Jesus, and with the foot stomping, y'all hear me? Foot stomping, hand clapping, Southern gospel heard in another selection. My brothers and sisters, will you welcome with me no change? Gentlemen. Put your hands together right here for me. I know the Lord God Almighty. I know, I know, the Lord God Almighty. Yes, I know, I know, I know the Lord God Almighty. He laid, he laid his hands on me. I know, I know. I was feeling filled with misery. But that same God that touched my mother one day stopped by and laid his hands on me. I, 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 I know, I know, I know the Lord God Almighty. I know, I know I, the Lord God Almighty. Yes, I know, I know. Call that morning, I was feeling filled with misery. But that same God that touched my mother one day stopped by and he laid his hands on me. I, I, I know, I know the Lord God Almighty. I know, I know. They call that mourners hands on me and I stay he there. laid his hands on me that Monday night y'all hands on me and I came he laid back his hands on me on a Tuesday night hands on me I stayed he laid there. his hands on me it was 
Cause the winds ain't knocked off Hands on me I went on he the lays yard hands on, me. on a Thursday night Hands on me But one Friday he lays night his hands on me. I was sitting there Hands on me When I fell He laid his hands on me Something was moving Hands on me When I looked he down He laid his hands on me My feet were moving <laughs> Hands on me, my feet were laid laid his hands on me. When I tried to hold my hands on me, my hand he just laid his Guess hands what I did? I started running. Hands on me. He laid running. his hands on me. And I started running. Hands on me. Cause he laid he his laid hands on his me. Hands on me. See, after that night, hands on me. On he my laid way his home, hands on me. I thought about it. Hands on me. And my feet started he laid laid his hands on me. My And I started running, started running, and I started running. Is there anybody here right now who can say that he laid his hands on me? Did he lay his hands on me? Did he lay his hands on me? Like he laid his hands on me? Did he lay his hands on me? Like he laid his hands on me? Come on, y'all, get with it. Cooling water, baptize me. Cooling 
water. In the name of the sun. In the water. Hide me. Cool in water. In the name of the Holy Ghost. In the water. And they all. Cool in water. They all made one. In the water. Another thing. Cool in water. When I came up. Cool in water. Out the water. Cool in water. Cool in water. In my heart. Cool in water. When I. Cool in water. Bless you. Almighty and most merciful God, your sons and daughters have gathered from the north, the south, the east, and the west, each coming with his or her own desires, his or her own weaknesses, his or her own strengths, his or her own joys, his or her own concerns. But whatever we have come with, we have come to an overflowing fountain that is able to not only quench our thirst, but by the grace of his power, wash away our sins and our cares. Now, gracious God, we pray that you will take charge of this service, anoint your manservant afresh, that he may boldly stand and proclaim the word of God without regard to any person. We pray, O oh God, you will continue to anoint the voices of these brothers who have come together to sing praises to your name. Anoint the waiting congregations, families represented here, and those who would love to be here but for whatever reason cannot. And now, O oh God, we get out of your way and pray your spirit descends upon this place today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Your preacher for the morning has selected two verses of scripture, one from the Old Testament, that beautiful prophet Isaiah, who continues to try and get folk to get it right, Isaiah, the sixth chapter, verses one through eight, hear now these words. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lifted up. The train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim. Each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. And so I said, Woe is me, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar, and he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. I also I heard the, the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go from us? And I said, Here I am, send me. He has asked that you stand in reference to the reading of the gospel. We would ask that you stand as you are able. The gospel lesson comes to us from John, the third chapter, the first 17 verses. Hear now the word of the Lord.
There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered to him and said, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly, I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Those of you out there that think you're in this battle all alone, we want you to know that God's got it all in his hands. I'm here to tell you that you can make it as anything you're going through. Just leave it all to Jesus. I tell you that all you have to do. And if your burdens seem too hard, just remember we serve an awesome. So don't worry. Don't worry. It's in his hand. Don't you fear? Fear not. You can stand. He's your rope. He's your rope. Where, where, it's where, 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 To Jesus, place it in his hand. Don't you worry. Don't worry. It's in his hand. Have no fear. Fear not. You can stand. He's your rope. He's your rope. It's in his hand. Just turn it over to Jesus, place it in his hand. Now I know it feels like your battles you can win. Just leave it all to Jesus. I tell you, he's ready to step in. And if your burdens get too hard, just remember there's nothing through tough God, so don't worry. Don't worry, it's in his hand. Don't you fear, fear not, you can stand. He's your own, he's your own, where, where, it's where, 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 where,
battle. Armor of For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the armor of against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against armor the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so when that evil day comes, you may stand. So put the belt of truth around your waist. And the breastplate of righteousness in place. Hey. And your feet fit with blood and blood. And take the shield of faith in every test. Armor up. Be strong in the power of the Lord. Armor up. Put on the foot. Oh, armor up, our God. Armor up. So that you can take your Armor up against the devil and his evil plan. Armor up, be strong in the power of the Lord. Armor up, put on the full armor of our God. Armor up, so that you can take your stand. Armor up against the devil and his evil plan. Can y'all do this? Can y'all do this? Armor up and get ready for the battle. Oh, come on. Armor up. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Armor up. The full armor of God. So when that evil day comes, you, 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 you gotta stand. keep your armor ready. Armor up. And be strong in the power of the Lord. Armor up. Put on the full armor of our God. Armor up. Against the devil and his evil plan. Armor up. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Let's give these fine gentlemen who answered their call to ministry through song. We just thank you and God bless you so much. Amen. Armor up, put on the full armor of God this morning. You know, we have to do that every morning. Amen. We have to put on the full armor every day because the enemy is everywhere. You know, throwing darts here and there and everywhere. But we thank God for these men and their ministry of music. I don't know if this is the last time I'm going to grace this podium. Oh, well, Pastor, okay. Well, then, I, I'll save that. I will save that because I was concerned because, you know, I don't like to say things that uh, will get me down or, or get you down. But I would like for us to look at our scripture or our text for the sermon this, this morning. And if you have your Bibles with you, or available, if you'll turn to the book of Romans, Paul's letter to the church at Rome. And if you'll look at the eighth chapter, the eighth chapter, beginning with the twelfth, verse and reading through the end of the chapter. Hear now as Paul writes to the church at Rome. Therefore, brothers, we have an obligation, but it is not to the sinful nature, but it to live according to it. But if you live According to the sinful nature, you will die. But it by the Spirit, you put to death the misdeeds of the body. You will live. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear. But you received the spirit of sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father, 
the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and heavenly Father, once again, your humble servant comes before you. Lord, I pray that the words that my lips speak are words from you. Lord, let them fall on listening ears, on understanding hearts. Lord, make us not doers of your word, hearers of your word, but doers of your word. More of me, less of you. None of me, all of you. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable and pleasing in your sight. For you are our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. This morning, if I may, I'd just like to share with you the sermon topic, The Adoption is Final. The Adoption is Final. To couples around the world who are seeking a child or children, this phrase is the most welcome phrase they could hear. The childless couples or families that are increasing in size due to marriage or other life events, these words are also priceless. In our communities today, there is still a strong sense of family. Thank God, there is still a strong sense of family. And that family not only includes parents, but children and heirs. It was this same way thousands and thousands of years ago in Roman culture during the Apostle Paul's missionary trips to Rome. You see, in the ancient Roman culture during Paul's missionary journey, the complete family with children and heirs was most desirable. That is what every Roman family wanted. They wanted to have children. They wanted to be able to pass the wealth on. They wanted the heirs. The families of means, when faced with the issue of being childless, turned to adoption. A child would be adopted. The family would be complete with a child and an heir. But unfortunately, in our world and in our communities today, there is a bleak picture for some of our children. In some parts of the world and in some communities, children are sold into slavery or some other type of child labor system. 
there is rampant child abuse, all kinds. We know it. We watch the news every day. But also there are waiting periods for prospective families, some who had allowed their hopes to ascend to later be told that the adoption would not take place or that there was some problem, last minute bureaucracy or some legal snafu. snafu. So right now, I think many of you may be saying, well, what does adoption and ancient Roman culture have to do with this sermon, being that it is Trinity Sunday? Let me see if I can tie some loose ends together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. You see, what is so disturbing to me and to the Apostle Paul is when he penned this letter to the church at Rome is that he and I are reminded of our sisters and brothers in our communities who don't know, who don't know that they're adopted. We're all adopted. Oh, I'm not, I'm not talking about the legally sanctioned adoption. I'm not talking about going to the courthouse. I'm not talking about going to the lawyer's office. I'm talking about what God provides for us every second of the day. Paul wrote to the church in Rome, for you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. Romans 8 and 15. Paul assures us that although, although we struggle in a world of sin, in a world of sin and death, we have not been abandoned to the lies of slavery and fear. But here's the good news this morning. Here's the good news. You see, in and through Jesus Christ, God has adopted us as God's very own children and heirs. Through Jesus Christ, we have this assurance of adoption because God's spirit, God's spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And when we cry out, when we cry out to God as a child, as that grandbaby over there cr cries out to their daddy, Abba, Abba, Father, Father, Spirit of adoption, sonship. The Greek for it, I'm going to try to pronounce this as Huathesia. What we have received is the Spirit of Christ, God's Son. The Spirit links us with Christ as fellow children and heirs of God, and it enables us to call upon God with that same intimate language that Christ used. Because we are joint heirs with Christ, we can expect to share in his suffering as well as his glory, Romans 8 and 17. So how do we relate this letter that Paul wrote and Trinity Sunday. Let's look at the Trinitarian threads in the passage. The act of God adopting us the way we are. That is what is so good. That is what is so precious. That is what is so wonderful. We don't have to go out here and, and, and say, hold it, God, I got to go to the, I got to go to the barbershop. Hold it, God, I got to shave. Hold it, God, I got to get my shoes shined. 
the way we are. I might be in a t-shirt, you might be in a dress, you might be in khakis, but the way you are, the act of God adopting us the way we are is the beginning of that father, daughter, son relationship. And when we start calling out to him, Father, Abba, and you see the spirit, the spirit of God, which dwells in us and among us. Mm. Glory to God links us with Jesus Christ who died on Calvary's cross, who shed the blood for your sins and my sins so that we would have everlasting life. That is when we became co-heirs. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. We say it every Sunday. Mm, glory to God. The, the adoption, I use this metaphor because, see, it, 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 it sheds light. It shed light on our lives as children of God. But my brothers and sisters, the adoption papers, they've been signed. And they were sealed by the Spirit at our baptism. You know, we still continue to experience anguish and suffering while we wait on our completion, the redemption of our bodies. Though we are God, God's children and heirs now, we look forward. We look forward to the not yet. To the not yet. I'm not yet there. I, I, you know. I think I'm not yet there. Only God knows when I'm there. But as long as there's breath in me, as long as I can get down on my knees and pray and say, Father, forgive me. I'm not there. Not yet. But the day will come. And I'll hear those words. Well done. Well done, my good, faithful servant. Our adoption as a child of God means that we share in the sufferings of Christ for the sake of God's good purposes, the liberation of this world that we live in bondage with. And at the same time, we must trust the sufferings of this time are not worth comparing to the glory which is about to be revealed to us. Mm. Whatever evil or suffering we face, we have blessed assurance that God will see to the completion of our adoption. And nothing and nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We, we have been adopted by God. We have been adopted by God, but someone may be seeking God for him or herself in that personal way that only God does. God reveals himself to us in different ways. He's revealing himself to us at all times. Someone may be saying this morning, I'm tired of going east on Interstate 40. 
I'm ready to head west. I'm ready to give my life to Christ. Remember, he takes you as you are. But my English teachers and professors excuse me for saying this, but he doesn't leave you as you is. We invite you this morning. If God is revealing himself and saying, come and follow me. Don't follow Rick. Don't follow Arnetta. Don't follow any preacher. Follow God. Amen. God follow God. Amen. We invite you to come. Well, there may be one here this morning that's looking for a church home. St. Matthew's has been on the corner in Greensboro for a very, very long time. I don't know how many years. It was way before I was born. I'm not going to share my age this morning, but that was a long time too. But this is a family, a community of faith. This family, this community, is what nurtures me and others. We invite you. If you're looking for a church home, join us here at St. Matthew's, where, where the doors always swing wide on welcome hinges. And last but not least, there may be somebody who says, oh, pastor, I have backslide. I've, I've just, you know, I haven't been doing what I'm supposed to do. I gave my life to Christ, but I got off on the wrong track. That's all right. It's time. It's time to turn it around. And God is still in the turning around business. I don't think he stopped doing that because the sun was rising in the east this morning and it'll set in the west. So we invite you. We invite you to come. If you're seeking salvation, if you're seeking membership, if you're seeking to get your life turned around and to come back to the community of faith, we invite you. And we also would like to at this time, for those who want to make their own personal petition to God to come to the altar and we'll have altar prayer and pray with you and pray for you because I think about Moses and Moses told God I, I, I don't talk too good I don't talk too good and sometimes we find ourselves we don't know what to say and that's where intercession comes in because some because God places in other folks spirit what he wants you to receive. So we intercede for one another in the community of faith. So we are going to ask you, if there's so many in this congregation, in this house of worship, who would like to come to the altar and pray, we're here with you and for you. God bless you.
filled with pride Don't hold it against me And if I walk by a person in need Please say a prayer for me You see this new road I'm trying is rough I'm trying hard to lose the old stuff Just know that God
people of the world today are fading. All of us have our ups and downs. You better think about it or you won't be around. What we need is a little bit of love. love. Taken from one from heaven up above. Love. Taken from me is simple and plain. This ain't no game. Sing no change. Come on. It's time. Come on and sing. Time to make a change. Mm -hmm. We are the people who can do it. We can do it. We can do it. It's time. It's about that time. Time to make a change. Well, well. We are these people. We, we can, can do, do it. Let me ask y'all something. What is the world coming to? Seems like everyone is running from the truth. We need to stop and fight. Walk into the light. We're the people. We can do it if we try. Can do it. Well, somebody asked me why do we have to go through it? It's just a test of our faith, but we're living day by day. We don't know where, we don't know when, but he's coming back again. It's time, come on and say, time to make a change. Uh -huh. We are the people who can do it. We can do it, we can do it. It's time, it's about that time. Time to make a change. Well, well, we are his people, we can do it. Let me say it again, listen. Diseases are spreading mighty fast. Earthquakes are moving through the land. It ain't nothing but a sign. Gotta make up your mind. We're the people, we can do it if we try. I know we can do it. Well, somebody ask me why do we have to go through it? It's just a test of our faith But we're living day by day We don't know where, we don't know when But it's coming back again It's time, come on and say Time, time to make a change mm -hmm. We are the people who can do we're it We're together It's time, it's about that time Time, time to make a change Yes it is We are his people we can do it. We can kick it from one more time. Well, it's time to make that change. Yep, yep. People of the world today are fading. Mm -hmm. All of us are ups and downs. You better think about it or you won't be around. You won't be around. What we need is a little bit of love. love. Take it from one from heaven up above. Love. Take it from me, it's simple and plain. This ain't no game, game, game. I know we can do it. Well, somebody ask me why do we have to go it. It's just a test of our faith, but we're living day by day. We don't know when, don't know when, but coming back again. It's time, come on and say, time to make a change. Yes, it is. We are the people who can do it. We can do it, we can do it. It's time, it's about that time. Yep, yep. Time to make a change. Well, well, we are his people, we can do it. No mountain too high. It's time. To make that change, time, time to make, make a change. change. Mm -hmm. We are the people who can do it. No valley to the time to make that change. Time, time to make, make a change. Get up. We are his people. We can do oh. it. It's time. Time, time to make, make a change. change.